So it's early spring, everything's ready, beds are dug over, composted, seeds are sown, but they're miles away from being ready. This is March, these will be at least six, seven weeks before they're ready to plant. Everyone's itching to get started and if you are looking for early summer brassicas, there is an alternative. And that is to sow in the autumn. You can see how advanced this is. We've got summer sprouting broccoli, red cabbage. And here, two varieties of cauliflower. And we've got calabrese as well. If you want a really early start in the spring, sow in autumn. I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm David. You're watching Grow Mad. The spring is such a busy time. There is so much to do. And time, there's just never enough of it. There's seed orders to complete. Last minute seeds to pick up from the garden centre. Compost heaps to be made turned and compost to be barrowed onto the plot. Everything needs sowing all at the same time. There's modules to fill, there's pricking out to be done, there's potting on, potting here, potting there, potting everywhere. There's always a ton of hoeing and weeding and start of the planting season and all of those other gardening jobs, tidying, watering, pruning, it goes on and on. So instead of being a slave to the garden or the allotment, even at a busy time of year, wouldn't it be refreshing just to be able to kick back and have it a bit easier? Looking good, Claire. Feeling good, David. So why don't you do yourself one massive favour and get some of these sowing of the brassicas that you're desperately looking for done in the autumn. Instead of seedlings, you could be looking at plants like these, ready to go. Let's face it, they're already half grown. Just look how developed they are. Look at the root on that, weeks saved. So sowing brassica seeds during the autumn is a reasonably straightforward process. However, there are one or two rules that you need to stick to. The main one is probably the sowing dates. You can't just go willy-nilly sowing from late August until November. Each type has a specific two to three week maximum sowing window which really does need to be stuck to. When it comes to sowing you also need a much much larger module tray than you would use in the spring because some of these plants are going to be in these trays for six maybe even seven months. Also to be noted once they're up they're not 100% hardy. You are going to need some kind of protection, polytunnel or greenhouse. The other thing to note is you can't sow every single brassica type or variety. Again, the selection is pretty restricted, but it's really, really worth making the effort. It's gonna save a ton of time in the spring. Let's have a look at each individual aspect of sowing brassica in the autumn. So it all starts with seed sowing. We'll look at sowing dates in a moment. But in the meantime, as already discussed, you will need decent sized modules. These 20 hole trays are perfect. Fill with multi-purpose compost, peat free if possible. But do ensure that the nutrient content isn't too high. You don't want the seedlings being too lush over the winter. Level and prepare for watering. Water thoroughly and allow to drain. 
using a dibber make a very shallow hole to take the seed doesn't need to be very deep at all take the seed all brassica seed are identical in look so don't muddle them up they're small but they are just about large enough to handle so the seed individually one seed per cell no more the growing plants won't appreciate being crowded over the winter again using the dibber lightly cover the seed no further watering is necessary don't forget to label if you're sowing several varieties or types you wouldn't want to muddle them up after you've completed the labeling put onto the greenhouse shelf or in the polytunnel so now that we have an understanding of how the seed sowing should be done let's take a look at the suitable subjects now not all brassica types will work for autumn sowing and at the end of the day you're trying to achieve early harvests the following spring and summer so it's only going to be early crops there's no need to worry about main crops or lates so you can grow broccoli or calabrese summer cauliflower spring greens spring cabbage very very early brussels summer red cabbage or summer sprouting broccoli don't be tempted to experiment with anything else it will end in disaster trust me I've been there and a brief summary of crops that you definitely cannot do it will not work so don't attempt it are the standard main season broccoli or calabrese it won't work for autumn and winter cauliflower neither kale colored cauliflower romanesco it won't work for main season brussels autumn or winter cabbage autumn red cabbage and it definitely won't work for spring sprouting broccoli we've tried it it doesn't work stick to the advised list only so next up we have the range of varieties for each individual brassica type I'm not saying this is an exhaustive list but we know that these work the key thing is with these varieties is that they're all blind tolerant they will take low light levels you cannot use any variety so for the spring greens we prefer Regency or winter jewel they both work well so the spring cabbage they come in two forms pointed which we like the variety caraflex and the round both of Japanese origin first one is Senon the second is spring hero they're both excellent cabbage and work well for the calabrese you have a little more in the range of options the best one by far is Iron Man from Seminis but you could also use Marathon and Aos from Sakata or as an alternative to that Stromboli from Hazira again all good varieties for the summer sprouting broccoli there is only one current available variety and that is bred in the UK and it's burgundy it's the only one at the moment for the summer cabbage the best varieties by far are Mozart and Vivaldi both from Hazira with Vivaldi being slightly later to harvest for the cauliflower offering you have Barcelona from Hazira and you have Clipper from sister company Klaus which is a replacement for the excellent Maybach which unfortunately is no longer available so it's now Clipper and Barcelona should you be struggling to find either of these two varieties Boris is a good backup for the red cabbage we use Romanoff it's a superb variety 
huge. Keep it in the fridge, it will last all year. And last but not least, the Brussels sprouts, the really early ones, harvesting from as early as end of August. If you like that sort of thing, I certainly do. And the only variety for autumn sowing is Abacus from Syngenta. So we've looked at sowing methods, we've looked at types of brassica which are suitable and types which are not suitable. We've also looked at individual varieties for each type. Now let's take a look at sowing dates. These are absolutely crucial. If you deviate from these dates by very much, blindness and non-harvesting is a distinct possibility. The dates are absolutely crucial and cannot be emphasized enough. The earliest sowings are for spring greens and spring cabbage. These can be made from the end of July, but do not go past August the 20th. These subjects can also be planted in the autumn, but we prefer to leave them until the spring. The broccoli, calabrese, summer sprouting broccoli must be sown by September the 20th. September the 15th is the optimum sowing time, no later than the 20th. For the other subjects, the summer cabbage, summer cauliflower, the early red cabbage and the early Brussels sprouts, sowing must be completed by October the 20th. October the 15th is about prime time, but do not go later. These dates are essential. Substantial deviation from these dates will result in blindness, as with this Brussels. Merely foliage, it certainly won't be harvesting. If you can stick to these sowing dates, these are what your cauliflower will be looking like by November. And this is what they'll look like immediately after Christmas. So it's springtime and look at those plants. Bet you're glad you sowed in the autumn. Bet your allotment neighbours haven't got brassica plants like that either. Start by preparing the ground in the normal way. Work in plenty of well rotted compost. Brassicas are hungry plants. Plant at 60 centimetres or two foot between the plants and the same spacing between the rows. The only exception is the spring cabbage and the spring greens. They can be a foot by a foot, or 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres. Firm well, brassica plants don't like to be loose in the soil. As for planting dates, in a normal year, you should be able to start planting first week in March. In an exceptional year, you may even get away with the end of February. The exception to this rule are the Brussels. Do not plant Brussels before the 25th of April. It can still be cold at this time of year, so these early plantings will need covering with horticultural fleece. As the crop grows, replace it with netting or micro mesh. Keep the growing crop weed free, well watered, and after six or seven weeks, give a liquid feed. So if you can stick to all of that information and instruction, which I hope was helpful. Do you remember those cauliflower just after Christmas? Well, this is what they're gonna look like in June. So there you have it. Do yourself a massive favor. If you were a brassica lover, if you love the early cauliflower, cabbage, spring greens, calabrese, the sprouting brock, or really early Brussels in September, do yourself a massive favour. Get some sowing done in the autumn. You can be planting as early as late February under fleece, more usually March, middle of March. It really will save a ton of time. Don't forget, you can't use all varieties and all types. But if you follow the instructions, you'll be fine cropping earlier and without the hassle. 
hope you've enjoyed this video if you've gained some value as always we would love it if you would subscribe to the channel like and uh, don't forget we've got a brilliant website growmad.co.uk thanks again we really do appreciate it and we will see you on the soil